Hi guys, I'm back for another video. Same get up. <laughs> they're keeping me trapped down here. No, just kidding, they're not. <laughs> um, it's getting later in the night. I'm hoping to do two more. Um, reapplied that lipstick I got in a couple hauls ago. My face is still not really red in that area. But anyway, all right, let's go. So, although I'm doing kind of some frizz here, that's not very really attractive. Anyway, this is a Timu haul. That's all that's been on this channel so far is Timu hauls. And um, I have lots of fun doing those. You guys are super um, a fun group of people and a safe group of people. So I, I end up sharing more on here than I should. And um, we get together, we just look at crazy things I've bought and um, have a good time hopefully and kind of relax at the end of the day. Um, if you are new to Timu, if you don't know what that is, I don't know how you found my video first, but welcome. Um, but it's an online marketplace just like Amazon. Blue Million sellers on there selling their stuff. Um, and it's cheaper than Amazon, but it takes longer to ship. It takes my stuff about seven to 10 days, although I'm pretty sure the box I got today was less than that somehow. I don't know how, because it had like four complete orders in it. But anyway, um, if you look in the description below, you'll see my affiliate link for the app. If you use that, I get five bucks. And in return, you can use my um, promo code, which will get you 50% off your first order, which is a fabulous deal. Plus you get $100 worth of coupons. And then if you get into Timu and start playing the games, Fishland and Farmland, my links um, or my game code um, are in the description below so we can swap water and fish food. And I also have a link down below for the products that you will see in this haul in case you want to purchase them for yourself. And otherwise, um, I do have one update. So in an earlier haul, I got a shoe rack and I did not put the shoe rack together on screen because that would have been a disaster, but it was maybe a three tier shoe rack and it, the picture made it look like it would only have room for like two pairs of shoes on each one. Maybe it was four tiers. I don't know. Well, my husband put that together today and it is a piece of junk. <laughs> so it didn't cost very much. I want to say it was around five bucks, but yeah, it was, um, I'll still use it because it doesn't take up very much space, but I feel like you could just look at it wrong and it would collapse. I mean, it's not quite that bad, but it's really, really cheap, thin plastic that is holding the rods together, the metal rods, but we'll see. I haven't loaded it up with shoes yet, um, but yeah, that was kind of my update, kind of disappointment for that. I still haven't gotten that powder container opened, um, so we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll try that some morning when I'm getting ready, but um, all right, so enough. Let's get to the stuff. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I've got is a another neck fan. You can see all this, even though I'm pretty sure this one came in the box that came today, it's still, even if it comes in a box, it still gets smooshed because they're trying to cram a bunch of stuff in there. But um, I've had these on this channel before, but this one is different because the air goes up and down out of the out of it. So I thought my dad, my dad rides his bike around the park a lot, no matter what the temperature is. So I thought this might be good for him, but, um, of course it's not going to be hot too much longer. Actually today wasn't very hot surprisingly, but it comes with a USB charger and this one is white. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> that's so this is normally, um, where am I at? This is normally $9.59, but I got it for $6.99, I think on a lightning deal. And this one's nice because it's flexible. 
Some of the cheaper versions of these are not flexible. So this one's flexible and then you can see it's got the um, air vents on both sides. And, um, but this one's really nice. It's got like, the other ones have like a button in some random place, but this is like stylish, right? <laughs> see if it's got any charge sometimes these come a little bit with a little bit of a charge Ooh, and this one evens this one's fancy so I'm guessing okay so I can change the speed so it's got five speeds and this is where you charge it so yeah that's nice oh so I wasn't even paying attention let me turn this on again to make sure it's coming out of both sides like it says Yep. <laughs> it's got a little snowflake in there. Huh, I might have to keep this one for myself. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, although by the time I give this to my dad, probably for his birthday, it'll definitely be too late to really appreciate it but so yeah so again I got that on a really good deal so watch for those lightning deals or if you get the text messages where you get a gift box with three free gifts um, usually one of those gifts is 70 to 90 percent off of an item um, or items so look for this kind of thing on those or if you get what I'm calling the no whammy um, a board that's the square that goes around. Um, that's another good way to get stuff like this that is probably worth the full price. I just don't want to pay the full price. So I look for this kind of stuff on there. So, yep. Yeah, so, all right. So what is next? All right. I think this is a bra that came in a bag that was way too big, but that's okay. Cause we like big bags on this channel. Uh, okay, so this is not this is not the bra I, bra I thought it was. So my price that I wrote down is not right. But this is a strapless bra. Is that right? No. I mean, yes, it is a strapless bra, but it comes with um, clear straps that you can use or not use. I got another one like this that's a little lacier, and that's the one I thought, but this one's actually more expensive than the lacy one. All right, so these are plastic straps, and they're the kind of straps that won't slide. That's the kind of plastic or rubber or whatever. Yeah, so that's the kind of material that is, but you would just slip this on um, there's a spot here on the inside on the front and then there's another spot on the back um, also what's nice about this on the inside is it's got that same no slip um, lining on the top and the bottom so hopefully it'll stay put it does have um, cups inside soft cups it doesn't feel like a push-up kind of cup just a coverage kind of cup but it's very plain and then the back straps it's got what four four rows and three clasps on each row and then this is a 2x which i don't know how that translates i mean 2x on timu is normally size 16 in american I don't know how that translates for bras, but this is 90% polyamide and 10% elastane machine wash with light colors. Oh no, it says hand wash cold. Do not tumble dry. Well, okay, so this is a bra. Well, obviously that's what we've been talking about, but I think I don't hand wash things. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll use one of those laundry delicate bags that I had on my last haul 
to wash this in and see if it if it stays in good shape but um this one I, i've got the wrong prices written down but i think this was like 689 or 639 or something um if i remember right because i had i had this one written down first and i was like no that's not the right one but it was so i'm just gonna put these straps back in here all right next <laughs> is my green screen so i i I used to face this direction and then I've changed it to this direction so that I could have my ring light up here and I'm not sure how I feel about this yet but I've got this wall back here this gray is a curtain to separate this space from my husband's game space and then that's an actual wall so I was thinking I could put up a green screen back there so that most of me could be sitting on the beach while I do these hauls <laughs> and you could just ignore my diamond painting stuff um, but yeah so I got this I don't want to take this out of the bag but it comes well let me take part of it out the green screen itself is a cloth and it reminds me of like a tablecloth kind of feel to it and it is roughly 39 inches by 78 inches. Um, because most of the sizes on Timu are metric, it ends up being like 39 point some inches and 78 point some inches. But um, it comes with these clips to hold it up. So it's got, um, I'll just get one. I don't know how many it's got in here maybe three, four. It's got four clips. So I think there's holes at the top of it, but maybe not because it's got this. But I think normally people put these on a stand, like they like get a, a stand and then they can clip it, clip this part around the rod at the top of the stand and then clip the thing, the blanket from this I don't have a stand I don't have room for a stand in here so I had been thinking if I was still facing that way that I would block off this whole part but then that means I would need to get some heavy-duty magnets to hold the curtain up just like this curtains being held up so if I end up deciding I don't like this setup and move back to the other that may be what I do and then you wouldn't see like anything but um but yeah, so it's got four of these. So I don't know yet. I don't even know how to use a green screen and replace the green with whatever picture I want to do. So, and who knows when I'm going to have time to check that or to try that. I need to like send my family on a vacation <laughs> so, so I can catch up on all my YouTube. Okay, so that cost me $7.48 and it is still $7.48 today. Next is another travel makeup any purpose bag. This one is blue. And I said that I was getting these in different colors to use for my kids for traveling so that they could put all their travel supplies in this and I was getting different all the different colors so that they would each have their own but I'm starting to think I'm just gonna keep all of these <laughs> fill them with my own stuff and then just buy more for them later that hopefully I don't confiscate too but they we've seen these on here before but they um, they end up being a pretty good size bag and I took I had a green one down here with makeup in it and I took it upstairs so I'll probably just leave this out in case I get more makeup but that blue one was a dollar 27 and I've gotten a price adjustment down to 97 cents next is a shirt and no it's not the same shirt that I am wearing now at least I hope it's not I don't think it is 
although it's very similar, probably feels similar. Yep, feels almost exactly the same. But this one is soft, and this is soft too. So th these are super comfortable. So this one, buttons, are these real? Yep, okay, so they're real buttons, but then it's got um, this kind of, is this, I wanna say eyelet, I don't know if that's right. But um, so it's got that in case you want to close it up more. And there's five buttons over here and there's five of these over here. So that's good. Sometimes I'm, all, I'm just not sure about this stuff. But yeah, it's a very similar kind of wild and funky design the same on same pattern on both sides but like I said super soft and this one's 95% polyester and 5% spandex and machine wash cold but wash it inside out I've been washing all my stuff inside out since I started buying clothes from Timu it says line dry in the shade so I'll just do air dry in the dryer and this was, um, what did I call this? Oh, pattern, I called it a pattern shirt because I didn't, wasn't sure what to call it. So this was $7.99 when I bought it, but it's now up to $8.49. And I got this in a 2X, which again is size 16 in American. All right, oh, so this, this goes in my mermaid metallic um, metallic makeup holder. <laughs> um, okay, so let me take this out. This I so I said this before on a different video. I did not mean to buy this. This is not even a color I would. Well, it's sort of a color I might use, but it's kind of glittery and I don't like glittery makeup. So I could return it, but I've got other kids that would, or I've got kids that would use this. All right, so, oh, so I just took it out of the bag and it's still in plastic, shrink wrapped. Because it's important to shrink wrap your makeup. See, I can be sarcastic sometimes. And I'm gonna have pins on my mood bag to prove it. All right. Uh, like wants to peel off tiny little piece by piece. But side note, this is good until April of 2026. Oh, and the plastic won't stop sticking to my hands. Is there anything else I can complain about today? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay, finally. Oh! Don't you hate it when plastic gets staticky? It's much easier for me to find things to complain about. All right, so it comes like this. Um, and then you can see it's just the pan and it's it's glittery so let's take this off of here and let's hope that my mermaid thing works like it says it does oh that is a super hold on maybe there's paper cardboard or something in here <laughs> um, hang on it's like I don't want to destroy it but it's not magnetic but I can't tell I can't tell if this part is supposed to come out 
but if it is, they have not made it very easy. But this, this doesn't stick. So do I have anything else magnetic down here that, that I could test and make sure? Oh, this really feels like cardboard. So I'm really thinking that I'm supposed to get this out of there, but if, if that's true, it's like it's underneath. So the closure's magnetic, but that, I don't know you guys, this may be going back if I can't figure out how to get that to work. Cause that was like five bucks, I think. So, okay, well, I can't think of anything else down here. Oh, my pen. Yeah, it's not really sticking to this. So we may have a, a dual issue here. This may not be strong enough and that may not be strong enough. Actually, let's see if I can get my tablet pen to stick in here. Oh yeah. So maybe, okay, so maybe this is the problem. It's got this kind of a back, so maybe it's just not strong enough to go in this. Well, shoot, so I only bought this to go with this, which I accidentally bought. How dumb is that? All right, well, at least we proved that this was not the problem, so this is still an okay purchase. This that was a goof, oh well. Um, let's try it out. It's glittery, so I don't like I don't like glitter. And it's well, you'd expect it to be light because it's a light color, but it's a little shine. So I don't know. I I can't. Oh, now my finger is like super shiny. I can't imagine I'll ever use this though. Well, okay, so I'm gonna put it back where there was tape, so that at least. It's got a cover, but yeah, so that's, ugh, whatever. How much did I pay for this that I didn't want? 89 cents and it's still 89 cents. All right, well, let's put that into the blue bag while we're here. All right, I mean, it's a pretty color. But I don't know. Do people my age really like shiny? I guess I guess anything that's pretty is pretty, right? It doesn't matter what age you are. But now I'm covered with shiny stuff. Okay. Let me throw away some trash real quick. Oh shoot, where did this go? This went with the fan. Don't want to give my dad a present and forget to give him all the parts. All right, next, we seem to be a little clothing heavy in this. This is a sweater. I was eyeing this for a long time and I specifically wanted it in this color, but this color kept selling out and the only color they had was like a brown. I think it also comes in black, but I didn't want black. But um, it's super, oh, and it's really, really soft. It's a really soft sweater, so that's nice. But it's also a pretty thin sweater looking through it this way. It's a 2X, but it's it's a wrap. This These parts wrap around. But the bottom, like, the bottom of this looks like it's pretty thin, but it's at the, well, wait a second. Oh, so the top. So where it wraps, that's it for the front. Because this goes straight back to the back. So we'll have to make sure that that's placed appropriately. I mean, it looked fine on the model, but the model was not a 2X. I've noticed, well, this is, that's not true. There are plenty of plus size models on Timu, 
but a lot a lot of the plus size things are modeled by um, non plus size models so yeah I have to see if I feel like I need to wear a tank under this this is almost like a cardigan more that just happens to be connected on the sides so yeah but like I said it's super super soft I mean like really really soft so I'm really happy about that um, the, the back was just plain and then let's see what it's made out of all right 100% polyester machine wash cold tumble dry low perfect that's what we want to hear right all right so I'm glad I got that what did I pay for that um, I paid $12.74 and have been price adjusted down to $11.99 next is a pin for my mood bag I'm sorry, did I roll my eyes out loud? <laughs> I remember in high school, there was this guy in my choir class. Choir class? Yeah, in choir. And I guess me and my other friend that were in choir, um, we would always roll our eyes at the guys. And, you know, it, it's like it was subconscious, sort of. I mean, we were in high school, so we were probably snots. But, but um, so when I, I kind of thought of that when I saw this, but... It kind of goes with my sarcastic theme. So, oh, I've got my mood bag. So let's get this one put on. It's got a rubber back on this one too. So far I haven't gotten any that have a metal clasp, but this one, oh, this one's kind of, um, put it up against my white face. This one's kind of bent. But let's stick this somewhere closer to the bottom just to give some variety. I'm like trying not to pin my or prick my finger. I'm trying to think, do I have another? I do. I have another pin somewhere in this hall, so I'll leave this up on the desk. But this also kind of reminds me of Office Space, right? Wasn't that the movie where Jennifer Aniston um, had to wear flair on her restaurant outfit? Is that the right movie? I don't know if it's not Office Space. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, so how much was that pin? That was the eye roll pin. It was 98 cents, and it's down to 89 cents now. All right, next is a set of waterproof eyeliner so I noticed when I was um, trying to actually do makeup um, when my fan when I had some extended family in town so I was trying to actually do some makeup and I realized the only eyeliner I had was liquid and I don't really like liquid but I think all of my regular pencil ones must have dried out and I threw them away so these are it says waterproof eyeliner but they actually say gel eyeliner on them. So this was a two-piece set, um, one black and one brown. And then let's just open one. I'm not going to demo this on here because then I'd be up in your face and that would not be pleasant. Okay, so that unscheduled camera break came at a good time. We were talking about um, the fact that these are gel, and this gave me a chance to get them out of their shrink wrap plastic, which was bare. I had to use my teeth, so that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> but let's go ahead and I don't know what it means to be gel compared to um, pencil. I mean, I guess it's it's a smoother pencil than I'm used to. So that's the brown, and it is in a brown case, so that's nice. And then the black. I still have my bruising from my makeup trial. So 
I wasn't bruising, but although I could have been bruised by that blush stuff. All right. So that's the black. So those are, they go on really, they slide really well. So yeah, I think I'll like using these and maybe I can give my, um, my liquid ones to one of my kids. So blue and brown, the set together was $2.36, but it's down to $1.15. So that's a really good deal um, right now. All right, put those in the makeup bag. Okay, um, what's next? Mm -hmm. So this is a turmeric neck cream. Now, when I looked this up to get the price, it kind of acted like it's had Botox, was Botox. Um, this particular one was discontinued. And I know some people say maybe that's because it was too close of a knockoff, which it may be. I mean, I don't know. Um, but there are still other sellers that have this. So the idea is you use this on your neck and it helps firm it up. So since I'm like in the process of losing weight, my neck is getting jigglier here. <laughs> so um, this is supposed to help firm things up. Who knows if it'll work or if it's all talk. But um, it's got stuff in it that I don't. It's got 1% collagen, 5% turmeric, 10% um, acetyl hexapeptide. Um, let's just see. I don't see any of the ingredients that make me think Botox or botulism, <laughs> but so you apply a dime size amount to clean skin can be used on face, neck, arms, legs, abdomen, and buttocks <laughs> to stimulate collagen and tightening, but avoid the eyes. Let dry before applying makeup. Ooh, for best results, use twice a day. All right, so just trying to see if there's anything else on here that you might want to know. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to squirt some of it out of this yet. But so yeah. So I'll let you know what I think if I once I get to using this. All right. Next, more green. <laughs> Yay. I looked at this one for a while before pulling the trigger also because it's got it's got such pretty sleeves. Um, but it's maybe a little bit intimidating for me, but it's a it's a raglan kind of cut t-shirt oh yeah long sleeve t-shirt so the rest of the shirt is just plain it's just a plain t-shirt but then it's got these really pretty sleeves so i bit the bullet and bought it i figured this this particular stitching it's still pretty a pretty good coverage well Let's just see. Oh, and it's very baggy, right? So, so yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how that, how that looks. But this is once again a 2X and back is plain as well. It's a pretty long shirt, which is nice. So I could wear it with leggings or, um, I should get some army leggings that would look good with this or camouflage um so this is 100 percent polyester machine wash cold tumble dry low and this feels um it's not as soft as this shirt but it's still pretty soft so all right and this was 12.48 
and it's been price adjusted down to 1061. So that's a good deal. Next is a nebulizer. So um, I, I had COVID, I've mentioned that on here before, and I was in the hospital in the ICU for um, most of 17 days, 17, 18 days. And I've also been in the ICU after I had my first C-section. Um, I went home and I started having problems breathing and they were of course afraid it was a blood clot, which luckily it wasn't, but um, I got pneumonia. I got, uh, so typically the things that take me out are respiratory related. Um, so this is nice, this is sealed. Um, I mean, there's air holes, but this is the mask part, I believe. But anyway, I was telling you that because um, lung breathing issues are what take me down, it seems like. So I don't know how to put this together, but it looks like you've got a couple different size masks. But my thought is that anytime I start to have respiratory issues, like get a cold or something, that I would ha be able to have this on hand so I could do some breathing treatments before it gets out of hand. And so it comes with this. And so you, um, yeah, you attach, you attach the mask. And so you have it like this. And I, I'm not sure if there's a, if it's just water that goes in here, there's a, there's a measuring guide. I'll have to look at the instructions. I mean, if it's supposed to be something special that goes in this, then that seems like a problem. So I'm kind of hoping it's just water. Actually, let's see if I can figure that out for you guys. Um, the device is designed for respiratory disease treatment and respiratory tract harmony. The medicine liquid will be quickly popped through micro mesh hole. Is there a micro mesh hole? Maybe. I don't know. Um, it's quiet. It's portable. Fine atomized particles. Easier to make the throat and trachea and alveoli absorption <laughs> ready to use handheld enjoy comfortable atomization and reduced noise although noise is spelled wrong I don't know why I'm such a smart smart <laughs> it serves me right I don't know why I'm such a snot about spelling um okay well this I'm not gonna read all this so let's see if I can at least find um, operation. See if it says anything about, oh, there's a place to put batteries down here. Um, oh, well, you pull this green part down. Actually, let me take this part back off. All right, so you can pull this down. Looks like it takes two AA batteries. It is rechargeable. It is rechargeable. Power button. But it has to have the batteries to work. Um, okay, so then this part comes off. This is where you put your liquid which is in milliliters, which is awesome for us Americans. <laughs> Although, to be fair, medicine in America is also dosed by milliliters. Um, okay, so let's see. Can I see where it says anything about what you're putting in here? Add liquid medicine. Pour liquid medicine into the medicine bottle. S 
So I don't know. I guess I got to find out. Maybe I'll have to Google it to see what do they make liquid medicine for nebulizers that they sell at places like Walgreens? Maybe. I sure don't know. But anyway, and what is this? Oh, this may be to extend it out from here. But anyway, I, oh, I should probably put, oh shoot, where did I, well, let me just put these back in this, or in this. But yeah, there's, there's times where I'm not sick enough to go to the hospital, but I wish I had something. And I know there's humidifiers and that kind of thing, but I wanted something that, I mean, they're always saying, you know, steam helps. Well, this is kind of that same concept. So, oh, don't lose the cord. Although I do have a bag of these cords somewhere, but I'm incons inconsistent for where I put them. So this cost $9.99 and it is still $9.99. Next is some jewelry. So these are metallic metal bracelets. So this says, walk by faith, not by sight. And it is all spelled correctly. I have gotten coins. I got a Christian coin one time and it had lots of misspellings on it, but this is spelled correctly. This one was $1.97. Is that one on pretty easily? And then this one, I think they had three or four different sayings, but I just picked out these two. Sorry, I know you can't see this very well. Trust, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Um, and that one was $1.67. Both of them are $1.93 now. But the idea is you'd stack them, but and I guess that stacks okay. So yeah, so I like those. The other two, um, they had good positive messages, but I don't think they were um, Christian specifically, so that's why I didn't pick them. Okay, so we only have two things left. The next one's another pin for my mood bag. Oh, well, this one's got, okay, hold up. This one's got two backs that came with it. It's got the rubber one and a metal one. So I thought I would like the metal ones better because they clasp, but they don't go down as far as the rubber ones do. Well, I say that and this one doesn't go down as far either, but I think I'll like the rubber back better since it's going on the purse. Although it would probably be better on clothes too. Oh, of course now I can't get it back on. <sighs> so this antisocial butterfly and this was 77 cents, but it's been price adjusted down to 48 cents. All right, so let's get the bag back. At some point, I'm going to start putting ones on the back too, but let's say maybe over here. Now I'm sitting here thinking if it was Office Space or some other movie. Oh, nope, that sounds empty though. All right, so and now because I'm anal and I cannot stand it, I'm going to go to IMDb real quick. Pardon me while I look up 
office space. Seems crazy that such a pop. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston wasn't that one. Uh, okay. So this metal one I'm going to keep in my jewelry box somewhere just in case I lose one or I guess, really, I guess, just in case I lose one. All right. So we got one last thing. Surprise, surprise, it's shoes. <laughs> so will this go with, this would go with that other shirt. Right? Yeah, that looks good together. So, um, not like it would matter if it didn't. I think I, I got a shirt earlier that these also would go with. This is more of a faded red. Um, this is the style shoe that I really like because it's memory foam on the bottom. I get these in size eight, which is a 38. They come with a built-in arch support and it has a good tread on the bottom. I don't have to worry about tying my shoelaces because there's elastic in here that um, keeps it um, in place. So yeah, I love these. I'd say I'm buying every single one of these, but I haven't yet, there's a ton, but I am buying a lot of them. So these were $14.38 and they have price adjusted down to $13.37. So that is it for this haul. Um, I'm hoping it won't take me terribly long to get these posted and that something significant hasn't happened in the world that makes all this irrelevant. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up. But um, I wanna thank you for watching these. I know sometimes it's annoying because my camera cuts out and I have to splice things together and it's, I know it's like seconds for you, but it feels like forever for me. So if it annoys me, I figure it might annoy some of you guys, but you guys are so nice. so. Maybe it doesn't. But anyway, thank you for watching if you watched all the way to the end. Um, thank you if you clicked like. Thank you to everybody that's subscribed. At the time of this recording, I think I'm 30 people away from hitting 1,000. Fingers crossed when this airs, I will have crossed that line. Um, but otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to um, check out the um, description below for all the important details and I'll see you again next time. Talk to you later. Bye.